Hello everyone, I'm Han Xiao, the developer of the Azure Toolkit for IntelliJ, a powerful tool that helps you develop and deploy cloud applications with ease. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use this tool to create amazing Azure container apps, which are the next generation of serverless computing. You can build, test, and deploy scalable and reliable applications in minutes. Are you ready to see how it works? Let's get started. Let's start from the Azure Container Apps environment, where to hold your container apps as well as other resources like functions. Oh, to use all the features in this demo, you will need to install the toolkit from Marketplace. Let's open the settings of IntelliJ. Select Plugins, select Marketplace, and search Azure. That's it. Then you may install it Log in to your Azure account and attach Azure in your IDE. Okay, now I will demo the creations for environment. Click the creation actions in the explorer. Set the common properties like subs, resource groups, region, and name. You could also see the workload profiles properties here. The workload profiles refers to the hardware to run your app. You may customize them with it. And now I will demo the creations for it. You need to set the name, min max instance count, and size. The size refers to the CPU and the memory of your profile. By the way, some profile is also GPU enabled, which means you may use the powerful NVIDIA GPUs here. However, I don't have that offer in my subscriptions. Pity. Okay, now the environment is creating. However, it may take a bit longer time, so I will use a, an existing environment for the following demo. After the environment creations, we may create the app. We support the creations for both container app and function app, and I will demo the creations for the container here. As you can see here, the creations is also simple. You also need to set the subs, resource groups, environment, and name. For the deployment, you may follow the traditional ways to deploy an image from the Docker Hub or ACR. However, we provide two new ways. First, if you have already built your project before, you may deploy the artifact directly. Or if you, you could also deploy the entire project, and Azure will help you handle everything else. As I have, heard, as I have already built the artifact, Let's use it. For the other configurations, let's keep using the default values. Except for the port, we should change it to the spring port. OK, let's click OK, and the toolkit will help you doing the creation job. The creation may take a bit longer time because Azure will need to build your, doc uh, build your uh, Docker image first, and then push the image to the Azure Container Registry, and finally, update the Azure Container Apps, so it may take a bit longer. Uh, usually, this will take about 10 minutes, and let's wait for the creation. Welcome back. We can see the creation is done, and let's try the app in Azure. You may open the app in browser, and we can see the app it's uh, running successfully in Azure now. In our daily deployment, we may meet some issues and need to fix and redeploy the app. In this case, you may open your project menu, select Azure, deploy to Azure Container Apps. Then we could see a similar view as the creations. You, with, you can see the three deployment method here. You may deploy your fixed project directly or you may deploy the fixed artifact. OK, that's the end for my short demo. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please leave a comment in the comments sections. Or you may also use the provide feedback features in this toolkit. Besides the uh, content apps, we also provide some other popular services in Azure toolkit, like the web app, function app, and Spring apps. If you want to learn more about them, you may use the Getting Start features of the toolkit.
In here, we provide many courses for this for these services. You may attach them in few minutes. Okay, that's the end. So please enjoy coding, enjoy Azure. Bye.